Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a quarter circle and a semicircle, a yellow semicircle. And a line is drawn from the top of this uh, quarter circle down to the uh, bottom right part of this bottom right point of this uh, uh, semicircle. And the distance from uh, C to D is 3 units. And from D to B is given to be 4 units. We are required to find the length of this red segment, uh, GB, or the diameter of the yellow circle, or uh, the length X. Okay, so here I just want to remind you of a disclaimer that the figure may not be true to the scale. Okay, so from the figure, we notice a uh, right triangle. So, right triangles, uh, this, uh, this, uh, AEB and uh, if you draw a line from uh, D to G we see another smaller right triangle and these uh, two triangles uh, DBG and ABE are, are actually similar because uh, this smaller is also a, uh, a right triangle and they have the same angle at B and if they have the same angle at B then of course then they have this uh, same angle at G, at G, and uh, A. So they are actually similar. Okay, so next is we can label this uh, radius of this uh, uh, quarter circle as uh, R. So this will be R also. And if we use the similarity of triangles from the two, I mean based from the two, triangles that we have mentioned earlier so if we focus on uh, gdb gdb and if we uh, take the adjacent side of this uh, angle let's say this is alpha so adjacent side over this uh, hypotenuse to be the diameter of the semicircle that is equal to uh, 4 over x adjacent over the hypotenuse and for this uh, uh larger triangle aeb aeb uh adjacent side so that will be r equal to r plus x uh over this uh this uh ab okay Okay, so next, uh, for the next step is we need to consider this, uh, uh, we need to draw the other quarter of the circle. So because we will use a uh, uh, secant, secant uh, theorem, so I have not drawn the whole circle because our space is limited. So we'll just uh, use the other quarter because we can already illustrate that this has this uh, radius. So if we use secant, secant, so uh, the two secants are actually from this point. So let's label this as uh, H here. Okay. So for the first secant, AB. So for the secant, secant theorem. So you have to multiply the exterior secant. So the exterior secant in our case is CB. So this uh, length exterior secant okay so that is the exterior secant so that is 7 times the internal c at uh, the whole secant segment and that would be a b okay so a b and for this uh secant uh, below okay so the whole secant is actually this uh uh h b and that is uh, uh 2 r plus x and the exterior secant is actually uh, x okay so if we uh, try to simplify so let us make this uh, let's manipulate the 7 over x cross multiplying is equal to a b uh, will be on the denominator of this uh, left hand side so 
we have here a b so this remains 2r plus x so this will be our next equation 7 over x is equal to 2r plus x over a b okay so going back uh if we are to use the two equations that we have uh, uh, got earlier, so we can actually divide this first equation by the second equation. So this x cancels out, and on the left-hand side, we have here 4 over 7 is equal to this uh, on the right. So we have just have to cancel this a, b, and we have here uh, r plus x over 2r plus x and if we cross multiply so we have 4 times uh, 2r plus x is equal to 7 times uh, r plus x okay so this becomes uh, 4 times 2 is 8r plus 4x is equal to 7r plus 7x and if you put this uh, 7r to the left hand side of the equation, that becomes uh, 8r minus 7r is equal to uh, 7x. We retain the 7x and put this uh, positive 4 on the right hand side. So this becomes a negative 4r. I mean 4x, sorry. 4x. So this becomes a uh, r is equal to 3x okay so knowing the value of r is equal to 3x we can just simply uh, replace this r with the uh, 3x so this becomes a uh, 3x and this is 3x Okay, so knowing the value of these uh, segments, I mean the radius of the quarter circle, so as you can see, uh, this is already the legs. We can also already see the legs of this uh, largest uh, right triangle. So we can actually uh, solve for uh, AB in terms of uh, represented by X. So we have here uh, AB is equal to the square root of this uh, 3x squared for the shorter leg AE and for the longer leg EB that will be 3x plus x this uh, EB so this becomes 4x squared so AB is equal to this uh, 9x squared plus uh, 16x squared and this AB is equal to uh, 25x squared so if you get the square root of this 25x squared this will be AB is equal to 5x okay so for the final step is we compare this largest uh, right triangle, this triangle uh, A, E, B, with uh, this uh, triangle uh, G, D, B. And we are to use the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And with angle alpha. Okay. So for A, E, B, the adjacent is actually a EB and the hypotenuse is AB equal to this for GDB the adjacent side is actually a DB over the hypotenuse uh, which is a GB and we can actually replace EB or substitute EB with uh, 4x that is 3x plus x uh, if you inspect that will be 4x so a b is equal to 5x as we have gotten earlier equal to d b which is 4 and g b which is uh, x okay 
So we can cancel this uh, 4 on the numerators of the left hand side and the right hand side. And this x on the left hand side, numerator and denominator. And if you cross multiply, you will have here x is equal to 5 units. And that is our answer for the value of x. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you liked our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.